Hello viewing several. Here we are again. Uh, back with an old favourite. Uh, a friend of the channel, we could even say. Just a little reminder of where it all began. And I... Ridiculous. My haircut, but it's weird the way the way fashion and the way that styles change over time. Same song, same artist, different age. Let's see what's changed. Cue the thing. I'm 37. What? I'm 37, I'm not old! Now this one is a fan video, I think. Uh, I think just based on the overall quality and um, the, the setting and what have you and how recent it is. So I'm not sure what the quality as far as the actual audio and everything else is going to be, but... Just roll the dice, see what happens. I mean, this is this year. This is a performance from a Las Vegas show this year. So this is definitely the oldest I've ever seen her. I've not seen her in any other context other than I think the oldest I've seen her perform is what, 13, maybe? Uh, obviously this song, the immortal uh, Nina Simone's Feeling Good, it's the one that got me started on the whole Angelina thing, you know, getting into her work and recognising her as this incredible artist. So yeah, this is going to be fascinating uh, to see what's changed in terms of how she performs it, how she looks, how she is on stage, just the whole experience. Again, I hope that the video quality and the audio on the video is good. We'll just see what happens as far as that's concerned. But yeah, let's go. Uh, Angelina Jordan performing Feeling Good in Las Vegas, February 2024. Right away, two things right away. There's going to be crowd noise because of where it's shot. We're going to, I'm going to try and get past that and hope that when the song starts, that's no longer a big issue. Also, wow, um, odd to see somebody who context wise I've only ever seen just as a child, uh, an incredibly talented child, but still, you know, a child. And now there's this young woman looking stunning and looking as ever, like she belongs on that stage, very elegant, very glamorous. Yeah, it's weird. It's a, it's jolting in a way, but let's get to the song itself and hope it sounds good. Sounds good because of where it's recorded, not the song. You know what I mean. Before we get any deeper into it, okay, I expected there was going to be more, you know, the tone was going to be deeper, the, you know, the overall, uh, you know, it was going to feel thicker and broader, but still, God, every time I hear it in any context, that, that voice is so, I mean, I'm getting, I mean, there's like Winehouse, there's Lana, there's Nina Simone, and all of it combines to make her, uh, to make her rich, gravelly, soulful, just beautiful sound. 
Oh, I really hope there isn't too much chatter and too much noise in the crowd because I just want to hear as much of her as possible. Oh, that's okay. Nice touch, nice touch. Given her face, just something about. Ooh. As we get to the, the end of this, I'll admit there's a part of me now that's feeling like, give me a belt, give me, give me something. But even if we don't get that, it doesn't matter. I'm really, really enjoying just seeing her as an adult, being as confident and commanding as ever, with this new depth and richness to the voice, and even the stink face she keeps given when she's on the mic as well, it's just, the whole performance is lovely, you know, and what how great to be in that crowd, to be that close, and to experience that. And so far, at least, you know, sound-wise and what have you, you know, kudos to the poster of the video. I'll, I'll put them in the uh, in the description because this is this is decent, you know. I'm getting a real sense of being there, and the way that they've edited and put it together is is really good, actually. and effortless as ever. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Tell you what, um, yeah, credit to the person that put the video and the performance together because it's great to see this song performed in this context and yeah obviously it was a, i expected it to be good obviously how could you not um now i'm feeling like i need to check out more of her in a more modern you know recent context of her as an adult performing um as well as i'll still have to check out other stuff because there's so much out there i need to i'm just i'll just switch between the two because whatever age she is She's a phenomenal performer, and you always get something really rich and rewarding out of every performance. So I'm going to yeah, get back into, as often as I'm able, uh, the Barefoot Princess's work from all across the spectrum age-wise. And I believe there's also a film that was put together, like a short documentary about her. That's something I will do at some point. I might want to watch a bit more stuff, you know, more actual performances first, but... I'll get to that too. So yeah, uh, let me know what you thought. Um, was it a mistake to go with this particular kind of uh, video rather than like an official release or what have you? 
Um, but like I say, kudos to the person that put the video together, and I'm going to leave a link to the video itself uh, down in the description. Like it if you liked it. Leave other comments and suggestions, as always, guys. And yeah. Goodbye forever. Hey, shut up, will you? Shut up! Ah, now we see the violence inherent in the system. Bloody peasants!